Well, hey friends, we got a really nerdy video for you today. We're gonna do a what's in my bag video. If you ever wonder what's in someone else's bag, well, you're gonna get to find out what's in my bag. So, I'm trying to not break my wall. We're gonna look in my bag. So let's go. Back to school, back to school, to prove to. Hello, okay. So why am I doing this? Well, I saw somebody else do it and I was like, oh, that's fun. So Rev Chad Brooks. Chad Brooks, uh, maybe you know him from Productive Pastor. He did this uh, and he's got this whole Facebook group that had in this long discussion. So I figured, you know what? Let's throw in some totally random nerdy content to the channel and let's talk about what's in this pastor's bag, at least mine. So uh, this is a bag I've had for, oh man, it's it's been a long time. I don't know. I've been using it regularly for Six years, five years, something like that. It's a Swiss gear. I don't know what the model is. It's just, uh, it's a book bag. I don't know. But I'm gonna just show you guys what we've got in it. So in this front little pocket, start here. Uh, I keep one of these tripod thingamajigs. Uh, you know, cause every now and again, I'll, I'll make a TikTok. And so I need something to hold my, my phone or uh, the camera if I'm doing a YouTube video, but I mostly just use this for TikTok, honestly. Uh, so that's in the front. Don't really have anything else in it, but I could if I wanted to. I just, I just don't want to. It's got all these pockets and, you know, super organized things and stuff, but it's fine. It's fine. I'm not worried about injustice. I feel like that's a little better. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe I need to just zoom this out. Okay. So that's, that's the front. This up here, I've got charger to one of my Bluetooth speakers. Really like the Bluetooth speaker. It's pretty good. I've got some pins and whatnot. Uh, these are just a little Sharpie roller pin. This is a uh, fountain pen, but it's purple. I don't know. I just wanted these like fountain pens. I'll show you why here in a minute. And this is uh, one of the Pigma graphic pins. This is probably needs to be thrown away. It doesn't work very well anymore. But those are good pens, by the way. And a blue fountain pen. It's like just, you know, it's not something that you'd refill or anything. It's just a disposable one kind of deal. So that's that. Okay, now the behemoth. This little unique, it's my prayer journal. Uh, it's got some really old style paper. This thing, it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, look at this, look at this. You see that? That's, that's pretty, pretty awesome. Uh, and it feels really good to write <clears throat> in this with a fountain pen. It just makes it aesthetically pleasing for me. It's really obnoxiously thick and large and it just is not practical at all, but it just, I, I like it. So I've got it. Uh, and I've got a bunch of books in here, so uh, let's dig into some of the books. So right now I'm prepping for a series in which I'm going to be talking about sexuality, politics, gender, racism, um, science, all the different like hot button, hot topic things that we in the church we need to be talking about, but we oftentimes don't. So uh, that's why this book is in there. Yeah. Sex for Christians. Uh, it's actually really good. I've, I'm really just in the very beginning, but it's got some stuff I've been underlining and, and, and keeping track of. This is really good. So if you want to tackle that subject, I'm going to do it for three weeks. Um, I recommend this so far, at least for the first chapter and a half. Yeah. Uh, this is a book I don't always carry this with me. Uh, I don't really always carry any of these books with me, but this is just more of a fun thing. Comedy Writing Secrets. Ah, uh, it's cool. Like, it's one of those books that is, for me, it's gonna be a slow read because I'm, I'm using the prompts and like, you know, doing the activity kind of stuff, just practicing uh, in one of my other journals. And so I, I'll keep this around if I just want to have some fun, but also improve in a craft that I think is so important when we're preaching is being able to lighten the mood a little bit, you know? Like, we don't always have to be so serious, so. Uh, next one, Compassion and Conviction. 
really uh, just a, it's been, uh, what's it, like a foundational book as far as like political engagement and how to think about politics uh, as a follower of Jesus. So uh, over halfway done with this one, it's been good so far. Uh, I got one of these little journals. It's just a regular dot grid journal. I don't even know what the brand is. It doesn't have one in there, but I've got, it's just titled thoughts. You know, when you got some thoughts, you write them down and you know, I've not used it a ton, but it's pretty fresh. And so I just keep a journal. I like, I like working with paper. I also like digital stuff, but paper is pretty good. Uh, I'm currently in a, a series on prayer and fasting, so, you know, got to check out this big, big hoss, Ian Bounds on prayer. It's, it's good stuff. Um, so, yeah, use that as just kind of checking out reference kind of thing. Uh, this is new. This is new, and I'm really excited about it, and I owe Chad Brooks all the credit for it. Uh, this is my new ESV Cambridge Wide Margin Bible. Um, what I like about this, I don't know if I'll do like a full on video just about this, but uh, I've had I've had one of these ESV scripture journals for a while, or not scripture journal, journaling Bible. I've got the scripture journals up there, but um, I, I like this, but when he, he was talking about his wide margin, I really like it because it's got these note pages in the back that can kind of just become this sermon prep and even note taking, you know, thinking about ideas and fleshing them out quite a bit as you're reading the word uh, all in one thing. So I've just been in the Psalms the last couple of days. And so, you know, just marking it up and taking notes. So it's got, it's got margin here. It's got margin on the inside, not as much. It's, it, it leaves a little bit uh, room for wanting more, but uh, so far, so good. Really like it. Um, yeah, so this is just the ESV Cambridge Wide Margin hardback. So it's much cheaper. Um, and I also owe this pin bag, oh, all the credit to Chad Brooks. I just copied what he had and uh, I like it. It's pretty good. Uh, I got an, a fresh thing of the pig, Pigma, Pigma uh, pins, and uh, they're all in there. Got my color code worked out, and uh, I kind of expanded that past what I had done with the journaling Bible, and it's it's good. This is a cool little little bag. You just do this, and it kind of sits like that on the desk while you're while you're taking notes, while you're digging in. And I also keep my my black uh, fountain pen in here for my my prayer journal. So these these two things are fun. They're they're just they're fun and not practical and I don't care. I don't care. Last thing in this no, I got two more things in this pocket. Put that back on. Uh, I got my iPad. This is I don't know what version this is. It's not an, it's not a it's not an air. It's like the one before that or something. But uh, I've I've dabbled with the with the Apple Pen. It's kind of cool. Taking notes in Good Notes Five, which is also what I use for my I preach from a from an iPad, not from manuscript, but from my iPad. I'll have my my preaching notes in there. It just ends up being head, headings and and just so I can look at it from that. So that's the main thing I use my iPad for is just to preach from, but I've, I've used it for some other stuff, uh, took good notes and, and, you know, writing notes in there. It's kind of nice. I don't know that I really like it a ton. I much prefer paper, but it is kind of nice because it's easily exported to something like Evernote or, you know, you want to make a PDF or something. Um, that's kind of cool. So that's my iPad, nothing special, nothing crazy. And I don't use it all the time, but Use it some. These, this is my pride and joy, y'all. These are the Crusher wireless headphones over the ear. Uh, they have a ton of bass and I like bass. Bass is a gift from the Lord to me. I really believe that. Like I thank the Lord for it. It's good. Uh, so if I'm working, th these are usually on, uh, at least if I'm wearing a hat, I've got long curly hair on the top, so I don't always wear them. 
uh, when I'm in the office. That's why I've got my Bluetooth speakers, speaker thing, but these are amazing. It can make it to where I can work anywhere, whether my kids are being loud or not. So it's, it's legit. Uh, last but not least, in the, in the other pocket here, so that was just right here. My other pocket got the 2017 MacBook Pro. It's got the i7 processor, 16 gigs of RAM, and 256 gigs of flash storage, I think. It's whatever the faster one thing is, you know, you just get less of it. But uh, it's been, I, I use this for everything. I've got a setup at the office at the church where I've got two monitors set up. So I just plug this in and then roll with the Apple keyboard, Apple mouse, magic mouse, whatever you call it. Um, and then I'll bring it home and I'll just work from this space. And then I also will use uh, the sidecar with it with the iPad. So I have a second monitor when I want it. Um, but this is, this is, I use it for everything. Video editing, uh, audio mixing, sermon writing, web browsing, whatever. Like this is, this is a beast and it's worked really well for me. So that's, that's, well, I got these other side pockets. There's nothing in them. It does do the little thing, but these, these have worn out over the years, the, the spot for your cup and all that. Uh, so they don't get much love. But I've taken this all over the place. The only bad thing about it is it's starting to fray right here. And, but other than that, it's it's working good. It's kind of stained a little bit. Like, it doesn't look the greatest. You know, you see this right here. I don't know what that is. I've tried to get it out. Probably should try again. I don't know. It probably is not the most pretty. But it's, it's a bag. And that's what I got in my bag. So, yeah. Hopefully you didn't die of boredom in this video that's what's in the pastor's bag at least mine but hey normally uh, i'm around here talking about preaching and leadership if you uh, are interested in that like your pastor church leader kind of thing i'd love to give you something free just for getting to this point in the video and that is found at preachandlead.com slash guide and there you can get my free 10-step guide to a sticky sermon and uh, it'll help you just dial in your sermon a little bit more and then I'll send you some emails over the course of about five days that will, I think, even take that even further, maybe give you some improvement. And then I'll let you know whenever we create some new stuff around here, we as in me, uh, for preachandlead.com. Formerly, uh, under the channel name Rookie Preacher, I don't even know if I've changed that yet on YouTube, but it's coming soon, whether it's before or after this video, I'm not sure. So, yeah, looking forward to making some more videos. Hope you have a great day. Peace.